What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez and Earl Spence. You know, Earl Spence, it was a rumor for a while that he was offered $20 million to fight Canelo. Now, Earl Spence didn't confirm that the offer was $20 million, but he did deny that an offer was sent to him. So more than likely it's true or somewhere in that ballpark. But what he did say was, you never accept the first offer. And he's absolutely right. Don't accept the first offer. And I feel that it was a mistake by Oscar if it's $20 million, if that's the amount. He shouldn't have went that high that fast with the first offer. He should have started at 10. What's Earl Spence is actually his highest fight purse. You see what I'm saying? You should have started at $10 million. If you didn't accept 10, okay, what about 15? And then maybe, you know, Team Spence would have, you know, came back, well, give us 20. And you got yourself a deal. You know what I mean? But Oscar went balls to the wall. Give him $20 million. <laughs> $20 million. So, you know, since you've already set the bar so high, yeah, he's going to ask for more money. Now it's 25 or 30 to fight Canelo if he's going to go up there and possibly get his ass beat or, you know, outpointed or robbed or whatever they they look at Canelo as, you know, because he has the home team advantage, right? So, yeah, I mean, I would like to see the fight. But no, that is a good tactic from Errol Spence. No, don't accept the first thing because, I mean, you want to fight me. You calling me out. However, counterpunching this, Earl Spence has called out Canelo before. So is Keith Thurman. Okay? So they can't say now, you know, oh, he's up to 160. I don't want to fight him. See, that makes no sense if Earl Spence, you know, has that mentality like, no, I don't think I want to fight him at 160. Well, why? You said you stopped Golovkin, and Golovkin was at 160. You see what I'm saying? So that means you you wasn't talking about no damn catch weight in order to fight him. You ain't Manny Pacquiao. So you're a lot bigger than you claim to be. He ain't no huge dude. Don't get me wrong. Errol Spence, a lot of people look at him as like a big weight bully. A lot of people call him a weight bully, but, you know, as long as he can make 147, okay. But he didn't have anything to, he didn't have any objections to going to 160. So that shouldn't be a, a, a problem or a roadblock to make that fight happen. You know, maybe Al Heyman, that would probably be the elephant in the room that we need to discuss. See, if he's saying never accept the first offer, it ain't him just saying that. He might tell the public that, but maybe he can't even take that amount of money. He can't take any amount of money for any reason as long as he's on that banner of PBC. Because you remember, Canelo fights on the zone exclusively. That means he would have to fight on the zone. No questions, no exceptions. He would have to fight on the zone because Canelo is that one guy that did sign that uh, the zone banner for five years and made three over three hundred million dollars. So no, he's not going to fight on pay per view because he's anti pay per view. You remember the commercial with uh, um, with Michael Buffer? You know, for for free. See, pay per view screwed. See that one. Yeah, so he's not going to go, and if Errol Spence thinking, oh, I'm going to be on pay-per-view, and pay-per-view, he's going to have to come on pay-per-view. No, he don't. You know, so if that's your way of saying that, oh, well, he has to do this, okay, you're just saying you don't want the fight and you don't accept those those offers. It didn't happen before. You know, somebody over there turning out that, a whole chunk of money because they don't want to fight on a particular uh, network. Idiots. But... Again, I don't think that he can anyway. I think Al Heyman has all those guys by the balls. I think. That's what I feel. Everyone over there, they can't do something by themselves. Yeah, get your promotional company. It means shit to me because that promotional company is just as, just as useless as tits on a board. Okay? Because it, you, you don't have any power with it. You can just say, oh, yeah, man down promotion. Right? Don't matter. So, I would be very surprised if that fight happens. 
I would be very happy because see now Earl Spencer was have to do something that someone else was ballsy enough to do with him. And that was Mikey Garcia. Right. So now he can repay the favors and showing people like, Hey, I'm not just a good welterweight. I'm one, I'm one of the best pound for pound. So I'm going to prove it by fighting Canelo, a guy that's arguing argued now is one of the top pound for pound. Okay. So it goes above belts in their weight class. Right. Even though if he beats Canelo, he gets three of the four of the belts all and on top of the ring magazine belt. So, yeah, if Errol Spence wants to prove that he's bigger than a weight class, than a welterweight division, he should do that. But can he do that? That's the question. So anyway, that's just me wrapping it up. You guys tell me what you think about Canelo Alvarez taking on Errol Spence. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.